I've learned to stop. To stop making a fuss about my troubles. To stop swimming in the ocean of my tears. I've learned to hold my breath, put on a goofy smile, and walk as if nothing happened. I've learned to see love as crap. In boldness, I've learned to wrap myself and my being. I have no heart. I have no being. I hold my mind in two different paths, each telling me a different path to follow, each telling me a different secret to swallow. Mind number one tells me, go in the soul so hollow and discover roots you'll never follow. Dive in the pool of fears and compete hard with your peers. Run on the rocky grounds and never expect them to end until you've learned to mend the ugly guilt and shame you've stored in your heart. When mind number two tells me, sit back, relax, breathe in, breathe out. Now think. Think of the love you once inked in your heart which has now spread and left its sinister stains on your heart. Feel your shame and guilt once again. Remember your past. Wrap yourself in sadness which will last. Lie down. Close your eyes. Never recover from that lost friend or that playboy lover. From that broken trust or the suicide that's a must. Don't move, stay, lay, and freeze. The real test isn't if I would choose mind number one. The real test and the hardest part, harder than both of them, is choosing. I'm startled by what each have to say. Because I don't think I can do this. Neither can I follow my number one's adventure, nor can I hinder my number two's depressing way. What am I left with? Nothing? Oh no, I'm left with numbness. Yes, numbness. Numbness is a way, is a route, is a path. Being numb is scary. Being numb feels like a breathing cork. Being numb feels like a tight wine cork. But numb is sometimes pretty when I realize I won't react to the things that once made me feel dirty. Maybe this doesn't make sense. But this is the one thing that makes sense to me. That I exist and this is my reality I choose being numb thank you